there is a serenity and um, a hearkening back to the history of the area because things have come full circle. What's old is new again. And you know, at the beginning of the 20th century, there was there were the streetcars coming down this road, just like they are now. The traffic on King Street has been quieted down by the reduction to one lane of car traffic. So what used to be a busy you know, stretch of road is now slowed down with multiple stoplights at all kinds of intersections where they weren't there before. One of the, the pressures that I felt is a sort of nagging dread of the time that my landlord for the small apartment building that I'm in, that he decides that the, you know, the economic pressures from developers, um, they're going to offer him more money than he could have thought of, and that he'll sell the building and another condo building will go up. And you know, when one has built a life around simplifying and you know, having less to then have the, the carpet pulled out from under you because there's so much money involved um, has been you know, a little concerning as to what happens next if and when the building gets sold. You know, the bricks are good, the bones of the building are solid, and my landlord doesn't want to necessarily sell. You know, does he pass it along to somebody who has the same interest in preserving a small piece of local building history that has um, architectural value as vernacular architecture? And where else is there an apartment building that has picture rails in it? Um, you know, just a small detail that you know, is a classic detail that Know, doesn't or wouldn't exist if they all disappear. You know, like a, you know, you don't want to see the, you know, the last white rhino die. You know, you don't necessarily want to see all of the same, or, you know, everything replaced by, you know, giant condo buildings when, you know, this small, elegant building can, can survive.